Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video I wanted to take a look at the newly released Space Engine that's available to everyone now, but you do have to pay a little bit of money for it. In other words, there are now several different versions of Space Engine and I wanted to give you a brief idea on what each of them represents and why you may want to actually put some money and buy a copy for yourself. Anyway, let's talk about this and start with so what exactly is this? Now in short, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I use a lot of visual simulations and a lot of them actually do often come from Space Engine. Like for example, the simulation of the moon from one of the previous videos was all almost entirely Space Engine. Sometimes when I talk about, for example, black holes, I usually go to um, Sagittarius A star, which is right here, and use this as a visual representation of various black holes because for the most part, uh, most of them do kind of look similar to each other. At least that's what we think. Now, um, Space Engine is literally a simulation of everything in the universe, relatively accurately as well, with relatively accurately distances, but it's not perfect. And it's been around for a really long time. It's actually developed by a single person um, somewhere in the depths of Russia. Actually, I think he's from St. Petersburg, and I think he's an um, actual astronomer, who uses this in his simulations as well. Although I might be wrong, this is how little we know about the actual creator. So uh, for the longest time I've also always actively promoted his uh, work and tried to encourage people to donate to his work, but you know, surviving on donations is not really a feasible way of living. So um, he was always encouraged to release this as a kind of a pay tool and so he finally did. But here's the thing though, you can still use Space Engine for free. As a matter of fact, the older versions will always remain free and can be easily downloaded from the download section of spaceengine.org. Uh, so the latest one, 0 0.9.80, is the one that I've also used quite a lot uh, on my channel and still use sometimes because there are certain things in it that I like better. But um, these versions are different from the one that um, you buy and the purchasable version that's approximately 20 bucks US is what you see here. So what are the main differences? Well, first of all, there are a few things that are visually different and a few uh, additional features, like for example, the astrophysical jets for various objects, um, slightly better looking nebula, slightly better looking uh, black holes. Everything is a little bit more improved in the paid version. And also all of the updates are going to be um, going to the paid version, not so much actually probably not at all, to the free version. So the free version is sort of like the basic prototype that you can still use and uh, still achieve quite a lot with, but um, all of the new stuff will probably not exist in it. Also, the paid version has something called Flight Simulator and so something called Planetarium. Uh, these are going to be two different, um, I guess you can call them play modes. Flight Simulator is intended to be literally that. Uh, you fly using an actual spaceship that you can construct here. And here, I'll just build something um, really quickly right on the spot. It doesn't really matter what it looks like, but I think it's somewhere next to me right now. And so here is an example of a ship and uh, we can technically take control of this and then uh, fly it around. Now, these are actually relatively uh, realistic controls and um, are relatively difficult as well, but this is still an alpha, it's still early development and um, not really that entertaining to be honest. But eventually it will turn into an actual gameplay mode where you can explore the universe using all kinds of different ships that are available for construction or you can even make your own. There's a, a really interesting tutorial on how to make your own ship in the way you want it. And the planetarium mode here, that's basically the major mode uh, that I use and also um, the mode that always existed in this program. And actually let's just compare planetarium mode in the older free version. This is in a 980 uh, version and so here you'll see that some things will look a little bit different but uh, not by much now interestingly in uh, this version of the simulation for some reason trappist one planets looked a lot better they looked a lot more realistic this is an eyeball type of a planet um, but other things may not look as good like for example the uh, supermassive black hole in the middle of our own galaxy is going to look a little bit different for one, you'll notice that it has no astrophysical jet and it also doesn't have as many effects around the accretion disk as well. So this is the earlier version, but it might be enough for most people. And I mean, it's free, so why not try this at least, right? And then there's actually the third version available known as Space Engine Pro. Now, this version is meant for um, anyone who wants to use these simulations in any kind of a commercial product. Like, for example, if you want to make a commercial 
uh, or advertisement using planets and uh, using black holes and you use space engine for this then you might want to get that uh, particular um, version of the game it's about 60 bucks so it's about three times more expensive than the actual uh, space engine but it's totally worth it if you think that one day you'll be using space engine videos for something that you make money out of and the other cool thing about the version is that um, it basically allows you to use a lot of camera tools as well I believe uh, to get to camera tools you go in here and uh, there is basically all sorts of stuff you can do with a camera where you can actually record the way that you move around an object like for example this planet and then um, you let it replay this but it will do it very very smoothly it will actually auto generate the path and make things really easy for you to film so it's really meant for uh, literally professional use. And in that sense, uh, Space Engine Pro is definitely a version for people that want to use these simulations in some kind of a professional work or just creating very beautiful animations that then they sell to people. The Pro version also includes a lot of other useful tools that you can use to modify things. Like for example, the Skybox um, editor, uh, which allows you to edit the actual um, skies of various objects. And then other editors that I'm not actually that familiar with, like this one is clearly to edit nebulas, and this one is clearly to edit your ships, but I've never really used them. And so overall, I really wanted to make a separate video about this because it's such a great tool, it's super cheap, and it definitely helps this tool grow bigger, better, and become an even more impressive um, featureful software with time. This is a one-person job, remember, and this person has done a lot for the space community. A lot of simulations today actually use um, Space Engine, at least to some extent. And because all of this is very realistic and has actual databases of actual objects out there, it just blows your mind to some extent that one person was able to achieve all this. There's also a very active community, there's a lot of modifications, um, and it's actually kind of easy to make your own objects and your own uh, star systems, your own stars, or even, to some extent, your own galaxies. Now, I've already showed in one of the previous videos how to create your own star system, but maybe I'll do it again some other time in one of the future videos, because there is a few uh, star systems I would actually like to try creating again. Anyway, on that note, check out Space Engine, the link for it is in the description below. Super cool tool, like I said, the free version will remain free and the website for it is also in the description below. But the paid version is way better, but also allows the developer to really focus on this and not rely on donations as much anymore. I mean, he's a full-time developer and I think he deserves our money. Anyway, on that note, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else. Space out and as always, bye-bye.